The long take is an uninterrupted shot used in the film industry. It can be one continuous shot like the one used in the opening scene of Orson Welles' 1958 film Touch of Evil, or a sequence of shorter clips edited together to give the illusion of one long scene as shown in the Academy Award winning film Birdman. While long takes are some of the most difficult and expensive shots to accomplish, they give the audience a sense of real time, create tension, and can drop hints about plot and characters. They force the audience to have the same experience as the actors. For moviegoers who went to see director Alejandro Niaritu's film Birdman, that experience included a spiral into mental instability. How did we end up here? Rather than one long take, Birdman is actually made up of a series of shorter shots that are cleverly blended together in a sequence to give the appearance of a single long take. This technique was first used by Alfred Hitchcock in the 1948 film Rope. Hitchcock wanted to create suspense and tension. This illustration shows the set design he created. Inside this space he used a roving camera, sliding walls, and a series of short takes to create the illusion of one long take. Since film reels only had 10 minutes worth of film, Hitchcock used a series of five takes and then masked the transitions to create one long sequence. For example, when Hitchcock needed to change film, the camera goes to someone's back. Like Rope, Birdman is made to look as if it is a single long take using similar transitions between cuts, but makes use of CGI to create seamless transitions. Where are you going? The camera stops at blank spaces or dark areas to allow a cut between the next long take. The use of sequence shots makes the telling of the story in Birdman more effective. In an interview with IndieWire magazine in 2014, Birdman director Alejandro Niaritu said sequence shots are difficult and complex, but also rewarding for the director and the audience. But it was absolutely exhilarating and again, push us to be super honest. Super honest, there, there, there's nothing to hide. You are naked there, there you know what I mean? There's no the time and space fragmentation, which is cinema that you hide a lot of things. It's a, it's a cheap trick. Here is real. What you see there is good or bad, but it's real. There is no tricks. Nyaritu admits he's never been afraid to try new techniques, but his focus remains on struggles of his main characters. His use of the long take emphasized this commitment. If Birdman had been edited like a more traditional film, Michael Keaton's character's descent into a mental breakdown would not have been as powerful. The long take allows the character's mental break to play out in real time and allows the audience to experience his pain and witness his break with sanity. In 2015, Birdman won nine Oscars including Best Picture, Best Director, and Best Cinematography. Nearly 60 years earlier, the Academy that gives out the Oscars completely ignored the film considered the first to use a true long take, Touch of Evil, directed by Orson Welles. In the first three and a half minutes, Welles uses the long take to create tension and to include the audience in the danger ahead. Ironically, in the original released version of the film, the studio hated the film and ran credits over the scene. In the remastered version, based on notes from Wells himself, the scene runs unobstructed. Each element of the scene establishes a sense of foreboding and sets up what the viewer can expect. The scene starts with a man placing a bomb in the trunk of a car. The camera then follows the car as it drives through the city. The use of the long take for the scene builds the suspense. There is a bomb in the car, but the viewer doesn't know when or if it is going to go off. The preservation of time that the long take adds gives the viewers a sense of danger even though the characters have no idea. Had the scene been edited with multiple cuts, that sense of suspense and real time would have been lost. The opening shot of Touch of Evil is considered to be a big step up from Rope because of the extensive camera movement. Hey, you're snoring. No, I wasn't. Yes, you are. Other cinematography advances due to using the long take include innovations in rigging for cameras. One example is the car mounted rig for a moving car scene in the film Children of Men that took 12 days to shoot. This two-axis dolly was specially designed to give the filmmaker the ability to shoot 360-degree movements. Having the camera intimately film inside the car with one long take allowed director Alfonso Cuaron to capture the intimacy of the characters and give the audience a sense of being one of the passengers. Like Cuaron, director Martin Scorsese uses his camera to tell a story. This is evident in the use of the long shot in the Copacabana scene in the film Goodfellas. It's easier than leaving it out of the garage and waiting. In this scene, the camera follows characters Henry Hill and his girlfriend Karen Friedman. The viewers go along with the couple seeing the mob life of Henry through the eyes of his new girlfriend. The scene was designed to give viewers a peek at Henry's world, transitioning from one place to another seamlessly. 
The whole sequence was blocked, lit, and shot in half a day. It is no small accomplishment to coordinate the timing and movement of actors, extras, and camera crew. Scorsese did it in eight takes. Many movie buffs have called the scene a tribute to the opening sequence in Touch of Evil because of its similarities in style and buildup of suspense. Suspense is no stranger to the iconic character of James Bond. In the 24th installment of the Bond films, director Sam Mendes kicks off Spectre with a state-of-the-art sequence shot. Setting the scene, Mendes opens with a wide shot of a Day of the Dead parade in Mexico City. Then, the cinematographer zooms to introduce the villain before revealing James Bond, played by Daniel Craig, walking down the street. The camera follows Bond and a woman into a hotel. Instead of a cut, the camera continues to follow Bond through the door, across the lobby, in the elevator, and into a hotel room. Rather than end there, the camera follows Bond as he climbs out a window and onto a roof. Where are you going? Home below. The sequence, which runs just over four minutes, was accomplished by filming several choreographed shots and using limited CG and thoughtfully placed wipes. Long takes and sequence shots are bold cinematography statements that require planning and commitment. Filmmakers use these shots to establish a direction for the film, or further the story in an intimate way that traditional editing cannot accomplish. Expensive and complex, but ultimately a necessary technique for the director who wants a specific point of view and wants the viewer to be lured into the experience. You see, this is where you belong. 